Welcome back to Wisno's Tech News and Reviews. Today we'll be doing a heart rate accuracy test of the Huawei Band 8. The benchmark to the test will be the Polar H10 ECG chest strap, which was on my chest during the whole workout. And the workout lasted just over an hour. And of course, we'll check the results from the optical heart rate sensor on the back here against the benchmark. Over the last one or two months, I've been checking heart rate accuracy of my Xiaomi, Redmi, Amazfit, and of course, Huawei trackers and smartwatches. And there were some interesting results. Some trackers were really good, while some were, well, slightly subpar. So one of the comments came and asked, well, what about the Huawei Band 8, the cheapest or the most budget tracker in the Huawei range. So here we are testing it out. I'm sure you all know the specs on here. So we get 100 sport modes, there is no GPS. 1.47 inch AMOLED display, 282 PPI. We get a sleep monitor, a stress monitor, SpO2 monitor, as well as a heart rate monitor. All of these things can be monitored throughout the day, so 24 seven. And this thing here does feature 14 days of battery life. Well, well, that is stated by the manufacturer. Really, you're looking at about 10 days, and that is still massive. So now, let's get in to this test. So first, I'll be showing you the results from the benchmark, from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So we can see that the workout did last over an hour, specifically one hour and three minutes. The workout wasn't the most intense, yet there was a specific band where the heart rate was actioned. And we can see an average of 107 beats per minute, while the max was registered at 139 beats per minute. There are three distinct areas on this chart. Firstly, the peak was reached just before the 20th minute. Also, we can see two areas of trolls at around the 35 minute mark and right at the end around the 60 minutes mark. If now we take a look at the chart from Huawei Health app, from the optical heart rate sensor on the back of the Huawei Band 8, we can see that we had an average of 108 beats per minute and a max of 135 beats per minute, meaning that we are off by just one beat per minute, so less than 1% on the average, yet we were down four beats per minute or just around the two and a half, three percent from the max against the benchmark. So these results are quite good. But if we look at the actual chart, where is the peak? The peak is just before the 20th minute, so corresponds to the chart from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Also, the two major troll areas are around the 35th minute, as well as at the end of the workout. So what can we say? Well, surprisingly, that such a budget tracker can be so accurate. Just as a heads up, I am expecting the Samsung Fit 3 to be delivered any day now. So just waiting for the Easter break to finish off and hopefully it will be in and we'll be performing the heart rate accuracy test there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.